Hello everyone, I'm Pam. Welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I'll share things about data analytics, job tips, and how to work more efficiently. As you may know, I wasn't a data analyst. My previous jobs had nothing to do with data analytics. So what happened that motivated me to have such a big change? In this video, I'll talk about what I did before data analyst, why I want to shift my job all the way to my post-job experience, and of course, some suggestions while pursuing this career. Feel free to skip to that part you want to listen. Let's start. Back in university, I used to be a barista. That's the job for fun, but it also trained me up with great customer service skills. At the same time, I was working in a media and publishing company as a product assistant. That period gave me a solid ground to UI and UX product research, plus presentation skills. Later on after graduation, I became a marketing executive, was responsible for planning, branding campaigns, and so much more. Those experiences trained me up with different transferable skills, such as strong presentation skills where I could easily communicate ideas with different people, visualization skills to help people better comprehend complex ideas, or product knowledge, which is fundamental for product analysis in marketing projects. But with all those experience, you might question, why do I still want to shift my job to be a data analyst? I'll say they're mixed factors. First of all, I don't have out-of-the-box creativity. I couldn't think of something out of the blue and instead I tend to combine and make some existing ideas. Secondly, I found my tendency to spend my time on analysis and dashboardings. And honestly, in the creative industry, the average salary is a bit low. Unfortunately, people work in the creative industry always have to work over time. So that's why I chose to self-taught data analytics myself. Starting with nothing, I searched on the internet how to start a career in digital and web data analytics. Reading through articles, I had a brief understanding of an analyst's role in some industries. Amongst all, web and media analytics is the field I found most interesting. It has high potential to match with my transferable skills as well. The first thing I did after deciding my target industry is to have completed the Google Analytics Individual Certificate. It's offered by Google Skillshop for free and is widely recognized by companies worldwide. Besides, Google Skillshop also offered other free certifications for popular tools such as Google Ads, which are essential for a company if it's building a business based on Google Marketing Platform. Secondly, I try to play around with SEM Rush. This tool is to help marketers who work on SEO, PPC, content marketing, and competitive research. My favorite section is Magic Keyword Tool, which helps me to get used to a numerical environment. As a start, try to learn what you like and prefer first. Try not to make the entrance too high for yourself. The easiest thing is always reaching out to your connection. I approached my friends, university, and previous employer and see if they have some data job referrals. I was referred a couple junior analyst jobs in some startups from my lecturers. Eventually, my ex-manager offered me the job after a face-to-face -face interview and some assignments. It will always be easier to get a job from your previous employer. But, even without connection, you can still reach out to recruit this company. They will help you shape the skills you offer and be the bridge between you and the company. The point is don't aim too high. Try to find your target jobs by bridging the expectation gap between you and your potential employers. After getting the job, it's just the start of my challenges. I was assigned the first two tasks to write scripts in Python and R. Afterwards, I had to build dashboards based on Google Data Studio. It's a software that turns your data into fully customizable reports that are easy to read and share. What's more, our team was offered a free access to Codecademy. It's a platform that offers classes in 12 programming languages, including those essential for data analysis. 
My ex manager monitored my progress on the course from time to time, but thanks to him, I trained up my programming skills in a short period of time. To be honest, I was quite frustrated at the beginning of my journey as data analyst. I still remember clearly that the first three months was a disaster for me. I cried being not able to solve a single bug by myself. Yet, I don't have a solid foundation on statistics and some basic programming frameworks, which makes my analysis based on no grounds at all. It was the hardest period. But also the time I grew my programming skills a lot. I knew the only way to improve was via hands-on experience. So, whenever there are bugs, I always search on the internet, which always gives me the best solution. First and foremost, find a right start is important. Try to see what scope you'd like on the job sites, i.e., industry and job nature. Secondly, find those transferable skills that you have already. Say like communication, research, visualization. Don't aim to be perfect. Aim to start first with something you like. Lastly, don't head straight to learn coding. If possible, find someone to give you advice, or leave your comment below, and I can give you some advice as well. Now you know my story on how I became a data analyst. It wasn't really hard. You can actually do it with an easy and short path as well. If you want to support this channel, definitely hit the like and subscribe button. Click here to watch my next video to know how you could become data analyst even without any experience. I'll see you in the next one.